Silvery Hill. OK, we are going up to Swallowhead Spring and then on to West Kennet Longborough with these fine people. Uh, doing a little bit more dowsing and then we get time to eat. So, uh, come along for the rest of the adventure. Hmm? Hercules. Yeah, sorry, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's a Hercules bomber. If Piddington were like that, where's he gone? Yeah. So, boys and girls, where are we going? We're going up... Swallowhead Spring. Swallowhead Spring. Woo! Yeah! It's a sacred site! I'm oh, sorry. <coughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know. The lovely October warmth of Wiltshire. Yeah, we've got some offering. Yeah, peace offerings to the goddess. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Someone's put a bit of a bin liner. That's not very, very, very spiritual, is it? <laughs> oh, serious. This is crap, isn't it? Yeah, bin liner. Bloody like bin liner. Black bin liner. Not very creative. I'm, I'm really. <laughs> right, sheer drop, guys. We're on a field. Where's the sheer drop? Where? where, where hello? What? Where? Talking. I'm very confused. Look at the of the landscape. Because you've got silver. Look, look. There's silver in the background. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to uh, Yeah, so we need to kind of... Oh, a lovely but uh, windy day. But uh, it's rather nice. What's the story, Morning Glory? It's a sacred place. It's all ahead, spring. Let's just uh, follow the action, eh? We'll follow, follow the woman and her technology. Yeah, so, yeah, with a bit all... The to... spring's not wet at the minute. Whoa! Swallowhead spring. It seems to be dried up a bit. There's lots of peace offerings. <laughs> it's peace offerings. Oh, it's lovely. Can you film the sacred trees, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go over to the sacred tree. <laughs> There's lots of offerings to the goddess. Whoa. This is quite a great place, Swallowhead spring. Powerful energy centre up near West Kennet, Lumbarrow. Sacred tree. So that's, oh, that's yeah. where it starts. Yeah. So is it worth going up and seeing? The sacred tree. There's this little fella doing his thing. So Swallowhead Spring is rather a magical place. I imagine there's lots of ceremonies and hand fastings going on here. Uh, this is straight through from the Mary Current. There's Rob taking lots of photos. I'm now on his way, so I'll move over here. Just going to follow the old spring down here a little bit. Oh, it's oh, wet. Oh, the partridge. That's oh, wet. Um, the spring has dried up more or less. It does at certain points of the year, obviously. So which way does the line go? Should we tell her now or not? Yeah. It comes from Silbury, it cuts straight through here and it goes... Oh, right, OK. So, you, so the bit I picked up here was, wasn't a something going that way? No, it was this, it was the... Mary running through yeah. here. Okay. Because we're really lazy, right, we're not going to walk around the other way back to West Kennet Longborough, so we're actually going to try and climb up this little bank here. Which isn't as little as it looks. No. It it's really isn't as little as it looks. No. So I'm going to... I'm going to try. Can you hold my crystal? For <laughs> I'll hold your crystal, Rob. Thank you. Uh, I've got your crystal. Right, so Rob's going to pull away. himself up. <laughs> if I give you a push-up... <laughs> if I give you a sit... That's it. And he's up, he's done it. See, simple. She's doing it. I'm going to pull her up. <laughs> and we did it. We did it. And we're in the field. There's Silbury. There's no, quite a lovely field. Quite a lovely field. There's loads of partridges over there as well. No, no, I'll go, I'll go that way. Yeah. There's Silbury. Yeah, that way. I've never seen it from that angle.
Ancient still by the Great Stone. Amazing place. And it's open access, National Trust property, open access. Nothing. It's the inner chamber where people have been put your lights in. It's incredible. I deny anyone to come here and not feel totally at ease and peaceful. About um, it was ten years ago actually, June two thousand and six, and I put twenty, I think twenty p in one of these crevices. I've obviously no idea where it is now, but yes, that was ten years ago. Wow. When you you say you're you're playing a sound and you're seeing whether it. it it comes back to you, or what? What? I don't know what's going to happen. Right. This is what I want to find out. There's a guy called Steve Marshall that wrote that book. Yeah. He's used the ball roar in the full court, two ball roarers, which right. um, are tuned to the infrasonic spectrum. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing recordings in here. It's still in process. But I don't think anyone yet has taken a speaker. Is that still playing? Yeah. That's making my ears hurt. Yeah. And you can feel it. Something was changing in here. But you need a proper speaker as well. So for the infrasonic stuff. So what you mean is. Whoa. That's buzzing my ears. Yeah. Can you yeah. feel that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. What you mean is you play the sound and the room is tuned to to sort of. Um. Whoa. For the sound to come back and, and circulate. It's a case of being careful because you know what, you know we've been. <laughs> it's yeah. a powerful place, mm. you know, and you've got a you you've got the Mary line current running through, and obviously they place it here for that reason, and um, it's really hard to talk. With it. 